What's up guys? It's been a while since I vlogged about the lewd. And so today, it's gonna be all about the lewd. Yeah. So the lewd has been having some issues lately. First, uh, it's, starting, it's starting to overheat when I'm sitting in traffic. So if I'm just sitting there at a the light, I notice that the temperature is gonna go up. But if I'm driving, it goes back down and normalizes. So maybe I might be low on coolant or there might be a coolant leak somewhere, which leads to me being low on coolant. Or, you know, yeah, maybe it's just me being low on coolant. I just need to fill up the reservoir or something. Yeah. My freaking uh, maintenance light is on too. Um, it's not even a light. It's just like a little tab that turns yellow when it needs some attention and then red if it's like severe. So it's yellow right now. And I'm assuming that it's most likely me being low on oil because yo, I just changed my oil two weeks ago, but I gotta kind of refill the oil every week. And this week I haven't refilled it yet. So I'm thinking that's what it is. Well, um, let's pop the hood and see what's up with the car. Yeah. All right, so first I'm gonna check the coolant level. The reservoir is right here. And yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Yo, this is like the worst location to see the indicator for the coolant. I can't see it at all. Um, but there is an alternative I could do. I could just start the car, let it run, and refill the oil, I mean refill the coolant from the radiator itself. Okay. But before I let the car heat up and whatnot, let me check the oil. Let's see how freaking low it is. Remember, first you want to take it out and wipe it, stick it back in, and check it the second time. That should be more accurate. Check this out. See, it's under the second dot. That means it's freaking low. It's supposed to be between the two dots. The top dot means that it's full. The second dot means that it's low. And as you can see, it's liquidy, like right under the second dot, so <sighs> let's add some oil. Yeah! All right, now it looks like it's just right under the top dot. Can you see it? So yeah, looks like we're good on that. Let's go ahead and start up the car and refill the coolant. Yeah! <clears throat> I almost forgot to put this back on. <laughs> Yo, this thing got no freaking coolant in it. Check this out. See, that thing is like empty, yo. Um, maybe I gotta let the car warm up a little bit and it'll fill up. I don't know, but yeah. I'm gonna let it run for about five minutes and see if this fills up. If not, I gotta add more coolant in there. All right, so the lead is pretty warm. See the temperature is up. Um, it's been running for a good 10 minutes now. And check this out. So this thing still looks empty. Even when I squeeze this, it feels like there's nothing in here. Ah, this thing is freaking hot, yo. So what I'm gonna do is just fill it up. So once it's filled up, I'm gonna try to air out any air bubbles in the hoses by squeezing this. I'll show you guys what I mean, okay? Oh shoot. Alright, see, I got it kind of full. I'm gonna try to get the air out by squeezing this thing. Um, dang, I don't want this to be spilling everywhere though. Okay, see, there goes some. Oh, yeah. Alright, so the reason I'm trying to squeeze the air out of the radiator hose is because um, it's bad to keep it in there, I guess. Because, you know, it's trying to circulate coolant into the engine and whatever. To keep it cool if you got air in there it's gonna fuck it up somehow uh that's just what i've been told so yeah so i'm gonna let the car run for a little bit more longer probably another five or ten minutes and if it's low on coolant i'm gonna fill it some more and you know just wait till there's no more air bubbles coming out when i squeeze the hose yeah all right so i don't really know what i'm doing i'm gonna go ahead and just back the car out uh and wash it and then when the engine cools down i'm gonna move everything I'm gonna move all this wiring stuff away so I can see if it's full or not down there. Cause that's what a freaking indicator is. And I can't see it from up here. Oh well. Let's go and clean the car. Yeah!
Yo, so I just realized that I could pull this out. Yep, see how it says max and minimum? That thing is empty, there's nothing in here. Woo! So I'm gonna fill it up and yeah. Okay, can I fill it up? Yeah. All right, so I refilled the coolant thingy. Um, let's hope there's not too much coolant in the car because you know, I let the engine run and filled it up and uh, I thought it was full. And then when I pulled out that coolant thingy, that shit was empty, so <sighs> let's hope my car doesn't blow up. Yeah. <laughs> oh shoot, let me uh let me cover that up real quick. Alright, much better, right? Yeah. Well um I guess that's it for the loot today. Um I'm kinda bored. I do need to work out. I'm gonna go and pick up my dad's truck and get this couch out of here. Yeah, make some more room in the garage and yeah, I guess uh, lay down the mats so I can work out and just chill for the rest of the evening. All right, so got my dad's truck and this is the couch. So I gotta get this couch onto the truck. You think I could do it all by myself? My brother's asleep right now, so looks like I'm gonna have to try to do it. All right, let me do it. <laughs> All right, I got the couch all tied up. It's pretty snug. As long as I, I drive pretty carefully, um, it shouldn't fall out. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and head on out and drop this couch off. Yeah. Woo! All right, guys. So, I'm all done with the couch. I was going to go work out, but um, my friends are nearby. They're at Sonic's, so I'm about to grab a milkshake, and I'll just put off working out for another day. So today is the third day of not working out. But uh, I don't know, I just feel exhausted because I'm mentally exhausted, man. A lot of shit going through my head. And um, I've just been doing a lot of stuff today, so I'm physically tired too. Overall, I'm just being a little bitch. <laughs> but uh, we'll get through this. The day's almost over, a new day's tomorrow. Yeah, I got a large milkshake. This is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. And it's so freaking thick, I can't even drink it. Nothing will come out. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to get home and get a spoon and chow down. Yeah! Alright, yo. So, I guess that does it for my video. Got the food cooking. Uh, doing some push-ups. Ish. And after I'm done doing my push-ups, I am going to finish my milkshake. Yeah. Alright, yo. Vlog 26 down. A lot more to go. Yeah. All right.